the big story on Action News tonight is the push to the finish as political candidates at every level make their last ditch pitch to Pennsylvania voters. Vice President Kamala Harris back in Philadelphia today with two events planned. The first took the Democratic nominee to the famous 4th Street Deli in South Philadelphia. Tonight she'll take part in a nationally televised town hall in Aston, Delaware County. Now, her latest stops in this critical swing state come as the Trump campaign is on defense. The former president's former chief of staff, General John Kelly, delivering a blistering rebuke of his one-time boss, warning Americans of what he calls the danger of re-electing Donald Trump. More on that in just a moment. Action News' John Paul live in South Philadelphia tonight. John, a lot to cover on the campaign trail today. Oh, Brian, just so much going on, and it feels like Philadelphia is just smack dab in the middle of all of it. Kamala Harris was here at the 4th Street Deli earlier today. Now she's getting ready for that uh, town hall with CNN tonight. And it seems like these campaign stops are almost a daily thing with less than two weeks before the election. Kamala Harris was greeted by a cheering crowd outside of the 4th Street Deli in South Philadelphia today. Are you looking all of this? She was joined by Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker. We even got her to do one of her signature phrases. One Philly, one Philly. A United City, a United City. And she made another campaign stop in the Keystone State. It makes sense being that it was such a pivotal state last time, all the time. In fact, the candidates have been in Pennsylvania more than any other state. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump have been here 10 times since September 1st. Most recently, Donald Trump stopped at a McDonald's in Feasterville this weekend. Today, he's campaigning in another crucial battleground state, Georgia. And it's great if you live in Pennsylvania, but, you know, my friends who live in Delaware or anywhere else, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely not a fair system. Speaking of Delaware, we talked to Senator Chris Coons, the Democrat from Delaware. He understands why the candidates are focused so much here. It is ground zero of the path forward for our nation. And I'm excited that Vice President Harris and Governor Waltz have come to Pennsylvania over and over and over. And the numbers bear that out. Political ad spending here is more than any other state as well. Through early October, both parties spent a combined $280 million on ads. That makes up one-fifth of all the ad spending aired so far in the United States. If either candidate wins Pennsylvania, I mean, we know that it's going to be, it's going to tip the, the direction of the election. So it, it's not surprising. And you can expect to see a lot more campaigning here over the next two weeks. In fact, Brian, former President Donald Trump has a rally. It's planned for this weekend in State College, Pennsylvania. We're live tonight in South Philadelphia. John Paul, Channel 6, Action News. Brian? Yeah, I keep doing the math using the map. It's very difficult for either side to win this, John, without Pennsylvania.